Hello everyone, my name is Brad Larson, real estate broker and founder of RentWorks San Antonio. In this video, I want to speak specifically to our tenants about the homeowners associations that you most likely will be renting from. So about 90% of our inventory is encompassed in a HOA, a homeowners association. In this HOA, there's going to be rules, covenants, bylaws, restrictions for what you can do with that home. And in this video, I want to talk specifically about those particular requirements. So if there's any HOA violations, I want to give you a warning up front that will be charged back to the tenant and it potentially will be added to your rent. So we don't want to charge you for this stuff. All we want you to do is comply and we'll tell you exactly how to do this. So the big four, you know, from off script here, I'm going to tell you the big four is always going to be your trash cans, your parking, your yard and trailers and boats. Those are the big four. So if you don't park your car on the driveway, you know, you might get some sort of HOA notice that you cannot park on the street. If you don't bring your trash cans in for three days after trash day, you're going to get a HOA violation letter. If you don't mow your yard and it becomes knee high, you're going to get an HOA violation letter. And if you try to park a boat there for two weeks at a time, you're going to get an HOA violation letter. So anytime a letter is incurred, you will be charged for that because we have to enforce that policy on behalf of the owner. If there's any fines involved, which often takes two or three or four violations to get a fine, that's going to be offset by your charge. So you're going to have to pay for that. So I'm just trying to give you warning up front. If you clean your nose, clean up your, your act and keep your nose clean, with those four I talked about, you should have no problems. We do have lawn service available. So if you're having issues in keeping your yard uh, maintained, let us know. We can provide professional lawn service on your behalf, charge you to your tenant ledger, problem solved. If you have problems bringing back your, your trash cans, let your neighbors know and they'll be glad to help you if you're out of town. Just bring in your trash cans and don't park more cars than are permitted. And I forgot one more. The basketball goals have always been an issue as well. If your kids have a basketball goal, don't let it sit out in the front curb for six weeks at a time. You know, bring it out when you use it, take it back when you're done. Those portable basketball goals are always a, they're always a big one that we get violation letters on as well. So should you have any further questions, tenants, on how to comply with your HOA, restrictions, bylaws, covenants, contact your portfolio manager at 210-497-8686. Thanks for watching and take care.